Absolutely, yeah, because <laughs> it's amazing, right? So I spent my whole life trying to escape the trap, trying to escape violence. Not the violence that's just out there, but the violence in here too. You know how they say black men angry, toxic masculinity, all these type of things, because the world don't understand. There's something called epigenetics. So epigenetics is what the ultrasound then pick up when the doctor was telling you what the gender of the baby was going to be. Oh, it's a little boy. It's a girl. Okay, fine. But it's something else that got transcribed through the placenta too. That's called epigenetics. If any one of those parents had any fear, any trauma, any unresolved psychological issues, some of that seeps through the placenta. So they used to have a saying talking about crack babies and test tube babies. I don't know if y'all remember, they used to say stuff like that. Not saying even the mother or the father were doing drugs don't mean that the baby gonna come out want a crack pipe instead of a bottle. But it does mean that somewhere within the mixing of the egg and the seed, something else crept in there too, a tendency, a proclivity to have certain uh, predispositions and not even understand why, but they call it ADHD or attention and all of this, not understanding There's something else going on within the chromosome, right? So, 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 so that epigenetic thing is what I speak to. I speak to that because I understand that it's not that we grow up angry. It's not that we grow up want to fight or feel like we got to bust a gun, but there's a lot of unresolved trauma and issues that have been passed down from the plantation mm -hmm. of families being separated in fear. There's a lot of uh, unresolved anger issues that got transposed from Africa to Atlanta or to the West Indies. Every, every place the ship stopped, every time a family got broken up and they didn't see them no more. And just you had to live with that and growing up and sharecroppers and uh, reconstruction and them passing one civil right bill and that one good enough. So they got to pass another civil right bill and the Jim Crow and all these things. And we just have to keep moving on. And uh, uh, can't we all just get along? And those things, even when we stop speaking, them, they get suppressed within the gene, the genome, the DNA sequence. So now you have a generation that's feeling these unresolved emotional feelings and ready to snap off and don't know why. 